Ooh, this one's going to be a fun one, guys. We're going to reflect shapes across axes. And I think it looks like they're making the, the, the color of the reflection axis red. So we can, you know, we can pay attention to that, right? So we're flipping this across the red line or the x-axis, right? So how do you do that? Well, you just take each of these points and you flip it over. So I can take this point, which is at negative two below and move it to two up. And then I can take that other point, which was at negative four, and I can move it to four. And then I can just sort of follow the pattern and eyeball it and be like, oh, okay, it's lined up now and that L is going to four and then that K is going to two and voila, we have the answer. Okay, so again, it's over the x-axis, so that's the red line. This thing here was at negative six, so we're gonna move it to six. It's probably, you probably just wanna do this on your own. You're probably annoyed that you have to watch me do it. Okay, th this is uh, negative six. This is at six. And then these guys are gonna be at eight and eight. And we just kind of see that they have to line up, so we move it to eight and eight. And so we've got the shape reflected. Ah, yeah, it's, trying to, it's trying to get a little tricky here but with it going over the Y, but there's nothing different, right? It's still over the red line. It's still over the X axis. And so we take this point here that was at negative six down, negative six, and we move it to six up. And we keep the X the same. And then the other thing was at negative seven, so it goes to seven. And we line up and we go to seven at the same amount, right? So that's seven. Seven up, right? Also happens to be seven to the right because this thing's seven to the right. And then this goes to six up. And we hit answer and we hope we haven't made a mistake. Okay, now we're reflecting this over the X axis. So this six goes to negative six with the same X, right, which is three. I'm just like visually lining them up. I'm not keeping track of the X numbers. And then that G is at 11, so it's gotta go down to negative 11. And then that E is at, or rather that F is at 11, so it's gotta go to negative 11, and I'm gonna line it up vertically at the same four value for X. And then I just kinda, I mean, we're adults. Well, I guess we're not adults. I'm an adult. I can just see that that thing is lined up. I'm just going to click it. Okay, we're reflecting this over the x-axis. This is a little trickier right? because because it's actually going to overlap with itself, which is fun, but that's okay. Don't get confused. The a is at negative two, so it's going to go to positive two. The d is at negative two, so it's going to go to positive two. And then the C, which is at positive four, is gonna to go to negative four. And the B, which is at positive four, is gonna to go to negative four. All right, and that's what happens when you reflect. I'm trying to think of a, an example. It's like, imagine you had a flag on a, on a pole or something, and you flipped it from one side to the other, right? Then this short side would move to this short side and the long side would move to the other long side, where this is like the flagpole. The red line is the flagpole. And if that didn't help, just ignore me. Ignoring me sometimes is the way to go. People in my life know that. Okay, so here we go uh, with N is at six. So we're gonna go down to negative six here. M is at 11, so we're going to go to negative 11. L is at 11, so we're going to go to negative 11 and keep the same X value, which is 3. And then K is at 6, so we're going to go to negative 6. Keep the same X, which is 3. Ah, see? See how they change it? Y axis now. Don't get in the habit. Gotta stay on your toes. 
So this is, and they also made this the red line. So this is six. Um, and so if you're at six, you're gonna go to negative six. And then the E is at 10, so it's gonna go to negative 10. And then the G is at six, so it's gonna go to negative six at the same height. And then the F is gonna go to negative six. Sorry, this was the F, this is the G. Okay, let's keep that straight, right? This G gets reflected here, this H gets reflected there, this E gets reflected here, this F gets reflected here. Okay, reflection over the y-axis. So we're at one here, we'll move to negative one. We're at one here, at M, we'll move to negative one. L is at seven, so we'll put it at negative seven. K is at seven, so we'll put it at negative seven. Keep the x's the same. Keep, sorry, keep the y's the same. Okay, reflection over the y-axis. So we're gonna take this one and we're gonna move it to negative one. We're gonna take this one for R and move it to negative one. We're gonna take the four for Q and move it to negative four. And we're gonna take the four for P and move it to negative four. And our last one is a reflection over the y-axis. So this n is at three, we're gonna move it to negative three. This m is at three, we're going to move it to negative three. The l is at 10, we'll move it to negative 10. And the k is at 10, we'll move it to negative 10. Hooray. Let's just see what the next thing is. Just let's take a peek. Ah, reflection over the X. So they do this tricky thing again where it's like overlapping, right? So we'll go ahead and put the negative one at one. Put the negative one at one. We'll put the seven at negative seven. And we'll put the seven at negative seven. Okay. I could probably do this for way too long, so I should sign off and let you guys do it. I'll see you next time.